Oh, music to my ears that the sale is inside. Oh, those are groovy. Almost look like I have faces in them. All right, well, thank goodness. Home Depot opens up really early in the morning. All right, all right, we can revisit that another time. Today's mission is to start packing. Oh, they do have sampleys. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna get some sampleys. So here's what I get to tackle. Ooh, I'm kind of excited about getting my seagulls hung again somewhere. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Oh my goodness, I am venturing out on my own today. Uh, and I'm getting a late start because I had a little disaster. Last night, 11.30, I always do my one final little check of everything before I go to bed. And um, I thought one of my big aquariums was leaking. There was water literally all over the floor and I was panicking. And at the same time, I'm calling for the kids to bring towels. I'm trying to figure out where the leak is coming from. Is the whole 185 gallons gonna drain onto the floor? It was, it was enough to stop the heart for, for a moment, but it ended up being, I have something called an auto filler. As water evaporates, you have to put more water in and I have an automation to do this. And the little tube that like feeds the water into the reserve had shot out kind of like a hose that goes and um, it was just shooting out all over the floor behind the tank. So, uh, we did have about mm, 15 gallons of water is what came out. It's not pretty. I found out I have a lot of towels and <laughs> we used every single one of them. It was quite the adventure. So I've been washing towels all morning and uh, I am off and running. I did find a church parking lot sale today. So that's exciting. And we don't normally have those here in Vegas. So we're gonna head to that, but we're gonna go to one estate sale first that's really, really close to where I live. So I'm gonna hit that one, and then we're gonna go to a church sale. So buckle up, here we go. Let's get shop done. Oh, music to my ears that the sale is inside because it's almost 100 degrees already. All right, let's look around. Oh, that's got little thimbles attached. That's really cute. All right, no prices on things. I do like that. Let's find out how much that would be. $3 on that one. Let's see what the purse is. Little dirty. Your cute little hand. Oh, thank you. Some nice bags. How much are the purses? Uh, I'm asking $30 on these. Okay, all right. Oh, that's cute. Earlier days. Pretty. Oh, that's neat. Made out of cards. Yeah, that's definitely homemade. Some silverware. It's a nice blanket. Unfortunately, it's Definitely not in great shape. Just as cabin fever. Those are really pretty. Okay, yeah, those are nice. Let's put those in our box. We'll add that one. Yeah, these are really nice. Beautiful. Oh, those are groovy. Almost look like I have faces in them. That's an interesting perfume bottle. I know. That's why I threw it in there. How much is that? Oh, I've already gone. Sure. That is neat. 
Oh, little ladybugs. Yes, lots of people. <laughs> and how much for that one? I'll do three dollars on that. Okay, that's really pretty. Do you know what kind of stone that is? No, I don't. It's green. It's a green stone. I know that's how I am. I don't know what it is, but I know I like it because it's pretty. This is kind of cool. And I found this piece too. I've had a thing for art lately. See that one's M A S S A. I think is the last name. It's really well done. It's a, it's another watercolor. I've been finding watercolors, a lot of them. I'm not gonna get this one. I just can't deal with any more art right now. All right, well, now we're in the garage. Look at the bunnies and the marble. Really like that. Froggies. Nice purple satin compote. It's really nice. All right, I'm going to get the purple satin compote for five dollars. Oh, the fans still get out here. The lore of flight. It's kind of cool if you like airplanes. Oh, it's one of those portables. Frames, frames, and fishing stuff. Okay, I spent $40 there, and I think you saw... Oh, that's what I did. I bought... Don't tell him, but I bought Will some hockey stuff for 20. So everything else was 20. That's why I spent 40. But but I, I didn't show it because it's gonna be a surprise. And he watches my videos. So uh, we are now on to I'm looking at my list, the church parking lot sale, which is a rare event here in Vegas. So let's go. Well darn it. They were already putting everything away. Um I got here too late. It's only 11:20, so um, I think they just underestimated how hot it would be doing a parking lot sale in the middle of July in Las Vegas. So um, I'm gonna plug in the next address for where we're going, and hopefully that one is still going. Right, this one is in a garage. Yay! <laughs> oh, what do I feel like? Oh, I was at the sale. I was already at the sale last week. Okay. This is the same sale, but you haven't seen that video yet because I was with my Picker Road friends. So let's see if they brought out anything new this time. I do remember their prices were good, so. All right, try not to get the Nicky Nackies, Danny. set some little bears and dolls ah see when I go picking with them I don't keep track of the addresses or maybe I would have spotted that that was the same one but I got a lot of good stuff so you're gonna have to make sure you're subscribed and hit the little bell notification so you know when that video comes out and you can see all the goodies I bought here the last time I shopped. Also, I just realized I told you that I was going to this charity event, but when I did the little map thing, this one was closer and on the way. So, uh, now we're going to the charity event. Well, color me frustrated. I drove 15 minutes over to this part. Of, I'm very, 
I'm very much like, I know what the streets are, but I don't know the addresses to know where in conjunction with where I am those addresses are. Does that make sense? Uh, so I drove 15 minutes over to this address and there's nada, nothing, no signs that anything was going on. I'll have to double check the ad and see, if, is it next week? Like, did I get the date wrong? But I'm pretty sure it said today. So, striking out. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go home and start packing. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I'm gonna talk about some of my collections. That's what I'm gonna do. So <laughs> let's go do that. Oh, but first, let me show you a recap of the things I did purchase at the One Estate sale. We'll do that and then let's get packing. It's the next day. It's early. Taking Rachel to horseback riding and I have to go get bubble wrap. Because I totally forgot bubble wrap. goodness Home Depot opens up really early in the morning because nothing else is open where I can get bubble wrap I know I'm gonna pay a little bit but got to do what you got to do to keep on track right all right anybody else get distracted going through Home Depot to go look for stuff and like oh yeah flooring Ooh, now everybody's telling me I need to get the vinyl flooring that like just locks I've never bought flooring before it's just so exciting but I don't know how to buy flooring either so like is it is it this how do you know how do you know what does it say see because it doesn't say it's vinyl flooring so I don't know but that's kind of pretty huh oh decisions okay Rigid pour vinyl plank flooring. I kind of like this too. I kind of like the, the, the gray tones, but I don't know. How, how do you know if it's gonna match? Like I wish I could take a piece and match it to the tile that it's gonna have to coordinate. Well, I guess someday I could redo the tile, but this is kind of pretty. I might go with that. I don't see a price. I don't see a price. Would you hate that? There's no price. All right, all right, we can revisit that another time. Today's mission is to start packing. Now, I have a bunch, I have a bunch of tubs, so I'm not gonna buy any more tubs right now till I fill up what I've got. I have a feeling I'll need more, but what I need, I need bubble wrap. Is it over here? No, you, oh, I passed it. I passed the bubble wrap. Ah, oh, it's over here. See, I'm not used to buying bubble wrap this way. This is just, this is just to get started. This is just to get me going and then I'm gonna get a big thing of bubble wrap from my normal supplier because holy moly, it's $40 for 250 feet. Oh, oh, that's a lot more than I'm used to paying. And the packing paper, 70 sheets for eleven dollars oh my gosh <laughs> i buy a huge huge case of this for like 20 bucks wow gives you some perspective let me tell you so if you're a if you're a reseller and you're buying your supplies at a place that is retail please please find yourself a wholesale place to find this stuff because these are crazy prices oh of course i'm gonna look at the lighting because I do have a room that I have to put a new fixture in because they're going to take their chandelier. And, you know, I really do kind of dig this one. 
I just don't know if that's enough light. I mean, they're decorative and they're pretty, but I don't, I don't know if that's enough light for what I need. I like it though. I like it a lot. Or maybe I should just find a used one. Maybe I should just do a little shopping, maybe on Cherish, find something really groovy. Cause those just don't look like they put out a lot of light. Okay, had a nice lady, got me down 200 sheets of that, but I'm looking at here, I think, yeah, these are the vinyl floorings that I have to choose from. So, ooh, I kind of like this one. Looks nice and clean. What is that, too light? It's, I'm kind of leaning between that one and that one. I don't want like brown brown. I don't know why. I'm just not like a brown brown kind of gal. So it's either going to be that one or that one. All right. Oh no, I found more choices. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's a no. I like that. I see I'm drawn. I'm drawn to like, they call this a, they call it an oak, but it's like a light oak. No, mm, not bad, not bad. And no, hmm, I'm going to go for one of these gray tones. Oh, but wait, there's more. Wow, 275 per square foot complete install. Oh, that's the cost of the install, not the cost of the stuff. The, this stuff's only 99 cents a square foot, and it's not bad. It's not bad. Why? Why? Okay, now my mind goes, why is this so much cheaper than the other one? And then this says underlayment is required for product, uh, which is another 69 cents a square foot. I'm so confused by this stuff. Okay, I look forward to your comments. Those of you who have put down this vinyl flooring, let me know. Let me know what, I mean, I'm not trying to be cheap or anything. I just want to know what the huge difference is between a 99 cent a square foot and a $3 and something square foot vinyl flooring is. All right, I'm gonna take a moment and just come out here to my happy place. My happy place, the outdoor gardeny section. Let's. This is how I dream. This is how I just kind of think ahead and get excited about changes because all of this moving stuff is really hard. So you have to have something that's the joy in it, the thing that makes it all worthwhile, you know, like the. Once it's all put together, what is it going to be like? You know, and for me, one of those things is uh, having uh, new plants in a garden. And yeah, believe it or not, I look at the fake stuff, but I really, I really do like my outdoor foliage, so to speak. I'm just, I'm just horrible with house plants, so I don't do the house plant thing. But I definitely aren't these overcrowded. I always thought that this was overcrowded when aloe did this because i always take the babies away from <laughs> but look at how they have these packed is this okay holy smoke that just blows my mind definitely gonna plant some of this for my torties and then veggies we're gonna have a veggie garden and we're gonna grow what's oh wait a minute that doesn't look like citronella oh wait I'm thinking of something else. So you can grow, Never mind. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I was thinking of something completely different. So you can grow citronella like that. That's cool. Lavender, lunchbox orange. Oh, it's pepper. It's a pe oh, these are all peppers. Ghost pepper. We don't do a lot of peppers. We don't do a lot of tomatoes. Yeah, we probably won't be growing peppers and tomatoes think what we'll do is grow our lettuce and stuff from seeds because that's mostly what we want to grow I do want some lavender though I've also been thinking what I can grow against the wall to uh, make it a little less attractive for anybody to even attempt to climb over that wall bougainvillea is something that works really good because I don't know if you've ever had a run-in with bougainvillea but 
There's little spikies, <laughs> little spikies all on here. It's very messy though. It's a very messy plant. The HOA might not allow bougainvillea. I would have to check into that because it, it grows fast and it gets a little invasive. So we may look into that because I like it. I like the looks of it, but oh goodness. So many choices. Ooh, these are cool fire pits, but they're like, they got the, like the glass in them. Kind of like those. I'm a non-traditional kind of girl when it comes to like fire. Like I don't want to have to make fire. I kind of like the idea of flip a little switch and poof, you've got little, little fire flames. Ah, seed choices. All lettuce mix, beans, carrots. Let's see. You know what I really need to grow? I need to grow dandelion, but I bet you can't buy dandelion greens because it's typically not seen as a desirable plant, but the tortoises love it. All right, all right, enough of this. I am gonna go check out and get home and start packing. Oh, there we go. Oh my, I just found the entire row of the vinyl flooring. See, this is where my brain starts to freeze up when you get all these choices in front of me. I'm like, oh, now how do I choose? I'm good if you give me like three or four choices. And then once we get here, I'm like, oh no, now what do I do? So I really, really welcome anybody who has put in this vinyl flooring. Can you please share with me what I should be looking at? Like I'd much rather pay, you know, $2 a square foot than $3 a square foot, but I don't want to get a cheap product that isn't going to last either. So, oh, they do have samples. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going to get some samples. Oh wait, but it ships. No, they have some down here. They have it. Why does it say flooring ships? I'm so confused because they have it for purchase. See, these are the things, these are the things that rack my brain, but I am going to grab some samples and then, uh, I won't be able to get into the house for another week, but at least I'll be ready when I can get in there. Well, I am noticing there are different thicknesses. So I guess maybe that's one of the differences. Does one of them like already come like with its, like the backing stuff on it. And this one, you have to add that. Is that what it is? Hmm. You can see kind of my color range I'm going for. Oh, I like this. Cause I can already go grab the photo off of the listing and kind of play with that. Nice. Okay, seriously, you guys help me make these decisions. I'm horrible, horrible at making these types of decisions. But we gotta do it. Holy smokers, here we go. So here's what I get to tackle. Ooh, I'm kind of excited about getting my seagulls hung again somewhere. All of this is a mix. It's Christmas and it's like some personal stuff. And yes, it is some resale stuff. Like there's a lot of sorting that I have to do in here. And then over here is a little bit more organized. And most of this is inventory that I'm probably going to put most of this into the estate sale uh, and then just take what doesn't sell in the estate sale over to the good stuff and find room on my stage. That probably means I'm going to run a wonker of a sale up on my stage. If you are able to get to Las Vegas, uh, I'm going to be clearancing a lot of stuff because I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> got a lot of stuff oh my gosh look at this look at this i got this at uh crystal's yard sale her moving yard sale 
uh, and I'm super excited. So this is going back to the store and it's Christmas in July, so why not? She's my inspiration for assemblages. I will just say that, but it's a little, it's a little daunting. You know, it's like, I, I know I'll be okay once I get going. It's the getting going. It's the, where do I start? Where do I start? What do I do? Um, and there's my disco ball that's going up. I think that's going to go up over the pool table. I think that's, I think that's where I'm going to hang that. But yep. 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 I have got to conquer all this and I need to conquer it in like a week. So I probably won't be putting out as many Goodwill videos as normal. I hope you will bear with me. I hope people will still keep watching because I need people to watch so that I can keep my income coming in. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's a little scary. I've depleted my savings quite a bit with purchasing this home. So there's not a lot of excess, um, but you know what? That's where faith comes in. That is where I just have to trust that God led me to it. He'll see me through it. And, uh, going to lean on my friends a little bit. I'm going to lean on you guys a little bit to get me through this. And we'll do it. I'll show you inside the house too. I think today I'm going to focus on packing this up. This is my Gillander and Sons Deer and Dog collection, which I contemplated selling. I thought about selling this, but I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure about selling it so therefore it tells me i'm not ready to sell it um this glass comes from the 1880s is when this was designed now what's cool about it and what got me into it was the finials on all of the the compotes here and this um i used to know the story behind this but the person who designed this pattern had a newfoundland so this is a representing a Newfoundland dog, which you wouldn't think is your traditional like hunting dog, even though it's kind of a hunt scene. I know it's odd. It's odd. The things that happened, you know, 150 years ago. I hope this likes to stick. I don't open it very often. There we go. But yeah, so you got the new fees on the finial. It's very endearing. So I think I'm going to pack that up today along with my turtles. Turtles obviously are not going anywhere. So I can pack up my turtle collection. My goal is to, in this room, pack up anything that is not going in the estate sale, but like that big old Tanala, that's going to go in the estate sale. My magazine holder is not. Some of my, I think the cows, I think I'm going to let go of the cows. I think I'm going to sell my antique rocking chair. I don't know. I like my doggies. I like my dog. I, I would sell them for the right. See, there's some things I may just put a price on it. If it sells for that price, great. If it doesn't, I'll keep it. I think these dogs fit into that category. More of my turtles. Those will get packed up. So if I can get everything out of here that is not going to be part of the estate sale, this is another one I'm torn on. I don't really collect deers, but I love this one. But it doesn't really fit with the rest of what I collect. But if I got the right price, I would sell this. Um, these are still from Christmas. These are my Christmas hangover deers. Like what? What is this? What is going on? I will sell my Murano basket, I think. And then, oh my gosh, I got to have the kids go through this with me because yes, we, <laughs> we have some games and we can't keep all these games. We need to go through and decide which of these games we would actually play because we don't do our family game night very often now. I mean, maybe we need to, maybe we do need to do it more, but yeah, this, this has to be sorted out. And then I'm going to start packing up some of my ocean theme stuff. Now, the dragon, I don't know how he ended up here. I really don't know how he, I, I bought him at an auction. 
because uh, he's a super cool bottle. So he's going to be in the estate sale for sure. I have no emotional attachment to the dragon. But then I've got all of my stuff that goes around my aquarium. I'm going to pack all this. I'm going to pack all this up today, I think. Then, of course, I've got my pumpkin collection, which is, the, I'm going to keep those. Those are probably going back up on my kitchen. Because why not? Why not have your, your pumpkins that bring you joy all year long be up on your shelves? Or you can enjoy them. They still, they bring me joy. They spark joy. So the pumpkins will get packed up and are staying with me. Oh boy. The pantry. I mean, I've got things like this buffet set. I always had great aspirations for it. And even as I look at it, I'm like, but it'd be great for parties. Have I ever used it for a party? I have not. It's time for it to go. And my slow cookers, we need to start using the slow cookers. But, uh, and then I got like a pile of mishmash. I actually think there's some seeds mixed in these boxes. So this is the kind of stuff I've got to seriously sort through, go keep, get rid of, keep, get rid of. Those are my choices. I've got to do it. And of course, my very dark office. Yeah, that is with the lights on, guys. It is. I'm so happy to be getting out of this really, really dark office. I'm still debating whether I'm going to keep this unit or move it to the store because it would be really good for display at the store. So I am contemplating taking this to the store and getting something new to display my stuff, but I do love the way I can display stuff. So again, it's one of those decisions I'm kind of pressed into making now, but the least I can do is start getting my stuff packed up. And now if you're still with me, if you're still watching this, Thank you. Um, this is like, this is a time in my life I've never been in before. Yes, I've moved. I've moved plenty of times. I've never done a move where I just like, this is it. Like, I'm buying this house. Like, this is mine. And I'm going to be here a long time. And uh, it's going to be expensive. <laughs> I mean, this rental was expensive, but it was a rental and something major goes wrong. You know, I didn't, I wasn't responsible for it. Buying a house, I'm responsible for it. Yes, got a home warranty, got all that stuff, but you know what I mean? So it's just, uh, I don't know, can, can anybody relate? Let me know if you can relate to making such a big change in life that it's, it weighs a little heavier. It's a little... I don't know. I don't know. I can't even put words to it. I can't even, I can't even articulate how I'm feeling about it right now. I'm excited. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm super excited. I am. I love fresh starts, love fresh starts. So this is like one of, this is going to be a really great fresh start, but there's a lot that has to happen over the next couple of weeks. And, uh, I got to keep my health up. I have to keep my strength up. And, um, and I have to keep my, have to keep my income up. And when you are self-employed, you know, you're probably already working those 60 plus hours a week. And then you have to fit in all this other stuff. I, and I'm talking about me. Um, I probably work closer to 80 hours a week on my business between managing the store, doing my YouTube videos and reselling. Um, those take up a majority of my life. So that is why I can't go to Goodwill every day and shoot a video. I will be including you in this process with a video um, so that I can make the best use of time and multitask. And I hope you will bear with me in that. Stick with me through that and uh, give me advice. Give me some counsel. <laughs> now be nice. <laughs> I know sometimes I get those comments it's like, I know, I know I'm a lot. I know I'm a hot mess. I know I'm all over the place sometimes, but you know what? It's always worked really, really well for me. I can get stuff done. I can figure things out. I can flip a plan on a dime if I have to. And, um, and that may have to happen a few times during this move. So I'm babbling now, I'm babbling now. This is a shorter video than normal too. My videos may be a little shorter than normal. Um, be watching. Like there's going to be lots of whatnot stuff happening just because I have to sell a lot of stuff very quickly. 
the estate sale. Um, there will be some live video streaming when that happens. Uh, that's going to be the last weekend of the month. I don't know what that is. That Oh, yeah, I do know what it is. It's the 29th and the 30th. That will be the Niche Lady Estate Sale. If you're in Vegas, I'll be giving out the address, obviously. Uh, so you can come see the Scorpion House. <laughs> I promise. There will not be any scorpions. Well, I can't promise, but... Yeah, most certainly there won't be any scorpions where anybody's going to get stung. We will inspect before we open the doors, and uh, they normally don't come out in the daytime. So, this is happening. It's happening. I have to sell a lot of this inventory at much less than I anticipated selling it for, um, and that's hard for me, but there's going to be some really good deals for some local resellers and for that, I'm excited. And then when I do the whatnots, I can't do the super big stuff with whatnot, but um, it's going to be a lot of stuff. And this is happening. Yes. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. I'm going to keep making it fun. We'll see you on the next one.